then Harvey Weinstein was arrested on charges of sexual abuse and misconduct. Rose McGowan, one of the numerous women who have accused him of sexual harassment and assault, said she had a visceral need for him to have handcuffs on him. Ashley Judd called it a watershed event. Annabella Shora, however, noted how she was physically sick. Shora, who told the New Yorker Weinstein raped her in New York in the 1990s, tweeted how the law finally caught up with Harvey Weinstein on Friday and charged him with multiple counts of rape and sexual assault. But nothing about that felt celebratory to me. Weinstein, who has denied any instance of non-consensual sex, was photographed smiling as he was handcuffed by police in Manhattan. The smirk, as Shora put it, made her physically sick. The public statement from his lawyer was intended only to denigrate all the brave women who came forward and spoke out against him, she continued. And I got not relief from seeing this monster walk into court, then sneak out the back door after posting a million dollar bond. All that says is money buys VIP treatment in the justice system no matter how serious or violent the crimes. After appearing in court on charges of rape, criminal sex act, sex abuse, and sexual misconduct related to interactions with two women, Weinstein posted $1 million for bail and was released under conditions that he surrender his passport and wear a GPS monitor restricting his travel to within New York and Connecticut. According to People, his lawyer, Benjamin Breffman, told reporters, My job is not to defend behavior, my job is to defend criminal behavior, Mr. Weinstein did not create the casting couch in Hollywood, compare that to the case of Khalif Browder, who was denied bail after being accused of a misdemeanor, then spent four years in Rikers, over half of it in solitary confinement, awaiting a trial that never occurred, Shora tweeted. If there was truly equal justice under law, Harvey Weinstein would be behind bars in Rikers today, waiting for his own day in court, not free to roam New York, his other hunting ground, wearing an ankle bracelet. Read her full Twitter thread below. The smirk on his face as he was led out of the police station in cuffs made me physically sick. The public statement from his lawyer was intended only to denigrate all the brave women who came forward and spoke out against him. Annabella Shora, at Annabelle Shora, May 27, 2018 Compare that to the case of Khalif Browder, who was denied bail after being accused of a misdemeanor, then spent four years in Rikers, over half of it in solitary confinement, awaiting a trial that never occurred. Annabella Shora, at Annabelle Shora, May 27, 2018 If there was truly equal justice under law, Harvey Weinstein would be behind bars in Rikers today, waiting for his own day in court, not free to roam New York, his other hunting ground, wearing an ankle bracelet. Annabella Shora, at Annabelle Shora, May 27, 2018 Shora is the latest of Weinstein's accusers to speak out in light of his arrest. Mia Sorvino boosted the actress's thread, calling it, so important. She added, I feel the same way, there was no jubilation although I was heartened that he was starting the process of standing trial. This thread is so important. I feel the same way, there was no jubilation although I was heartened that he was starting the process of standing trial. Mira Sorvino, at Mira Sorvino, May 27, 2018 McGowan and Judd also criticized the circumstances of the arrest. McGowan pointed to the fact Weinstein surrendered to authorities on a Friday of a holiday weekend, when it's slow media, while Judd wrote in a guest column for Time that she didn't have a reaction when he came out in cuffs. As I spoke with others for whom the ground was shaking I realized my feeling was that a sexual predator being legally accountable for criminal behavior is and should be normal, routine and not particularly newsworthy, she wrote. And I also understood why it is thunderous news. Both feelings, she argued, are true, the criminal justice system should function efficiently and swiftly, apprehending and punishing any and all sexual predators, whatever their social status and power quotient. And in this moment, in this era, that a powerful man who thrived and flourished in a culture of impunity was arrested and charged is resoundingly significant.